Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we did not have nearly this many ships on my capital ship, but not because they're visiting, because I just started. So, uh, when we left off, we were doing a lot of running around to get things done for the armor, the... the... who else was it? The scientist and the farmer as we just recently got the farmer and also we had an expedition that is done all right and debrief the commander what do we get 30,000 units 26,000 viking effigy crystal sulfide interesting 36,000 Viking effigy, and that's it. All right. Could have been worse. Crystal sulfide, though. That's a thing. It's a thing that needs to be put over here. There we go. All right. And then the rest of it will be put there. There we go. The stuff that I can't really sell. But look at that. We're at 2 million units now. Fantastic. You gotta love it. Two million units. We can now buy a new frigate. Probably. Hopefully. Here's hoping. Anyway. Oop. Popped my shoulder again. Just trying to scratch my ear. I apologize. Alright. Expeditions that we can do. Ooh. The Voyage of Discovery would be nice, but I'm pretty sure I do not have a crew that would be rated to do that. But the balanced expedition is a good long one. And low low difficulty. Always good for me. There we go. It reminds me, that's what I need. I need a science ship and a support ship to have a well-rounded frigate list here. But I don't have either. I'll have to work on that. But away they go. And... So do we. To drop off the stuff for the scientist, the farmer, and the armorer. There we go. I just can't get all their names in a row, apparently. My brain just will not allow me. Okay, scientist. Hello. Traveler. While you have been absent, Corvax has detected anomalies. I feel alone. Perhaps the data will have answer? I don't know. I'm assuming it's supposed to be the answer, but minor, minor grammatical error. Give data. This data contains no answers, Traveler. Merely these blueprints for living glass and a beacon. Save beacon and living glass. I think I already have save beacon. Living glass is new. Hmm. Maybe I don't have save beacon. The convergence is absent, Traveler. We, I, can feel myself slipping further. Perhaps that beacon may be of some use? Construct one, and the convergence may find me again. Corvax is grateful, Traveler. I shall also work on my own solution while you investigate the beacon. Right. Okay. Uh, construct a beacon. I uh, can't construct it here. I do not have the ability. Bugger. <laughs> Wait, can I? Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. I can do large refiner and I can do everything else here. Interesting. Hmm. Also, they changed the menu. I know it, <laughs> it might be obvious to some of you now. But they changed the menu on how construction is made. So it's less of a uh, menu like this and more of a menu like this. But unfortunately, none of the things that I want to make are available as of right now. Oh, I have to hold it over to get rid of these markers. Oh, that's annoying. That's mildly annoying. 
Eh, it's fine, though. As long as it gets rid of them. Okay. I'm going to be doing this for about 10 minutes. <laughs> That's not the point. Uh, the point is, we now have to do something for the scientist, which I have to go down to a planet to do, I'm presuming, because I can't make it here. Which means that more likely than not, I have to be at the planet to do it. At a planet, I should say. Alright, now that that's done, let's talk to Conscript Dog. You have shut down their production, Interloper. Perhaps we shall make a Viking of you yet. Confirm. Excellent work, Interloper. Ra, did you obtain any technology of our own? Here, I will decrypt it for you. We shall continue your training. Weapons are nothing without usage, without the glory of righteous war. Ooh, that's not war technology, though. That's an economy scanner. Okay. An upgrade to the Starship's galactic scale sensors. This device allows the user to access detailed economic data about a system without having to visit. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. I am not installing it. I'm not doing that. Game. You're not making me do that. No. Return to the armor. Okay. Steal yourself, interloper. Pirates have discovered our world. Ah, they will provide practice for your weapons. Attack! Ah, attack! Burn their hives of villainy and sin. Let them know that this is no one's sky but ours. See how they threw the title in there? Just a little altered. Just a little bit. Do you see that? You see that? No one sky, no man sky. <laughs> okay. Moving on. As they tell me of the pirates, the armorer begins to shake. I have not seen such passion, such hatred expressed in them for any other being. The armorer alerts me to the presence of pirate ships orbiting this world, asking me to go and fight them. Okay. Grah! Fight well, interloper. Destroy them before they draw more sentinel attention to our homeworld. It's not a homeworld, but plus not. Okay, understood. A hireling Osu. This is a home of glass and metal, traveler. It is in dire need of my touch, but no need to fear, for I have come well equipped for such work. Ooh, that's a lot of things that I'm pretty sure I learned most of already. That's new. Our first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt, friend. The earth provides life and death, after all. Take this hydroponic tray and these gut rot flower seeds. Grow the flower and see how fine it feels to produce life. Hireling Osu is already bedding in nicely. Bedding? Interesting choice of words. They have already given me the means to beautify my home. If I prove myself a worthy farmer with this gut rot flower, perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets. Okay. Wonderful, my friend. Soon our home will be filled with the delicate perfume for which this plant was named. Delicate perfume of gut rot. Right. Okay. Whatever you say, then. Uh, ooh, that is the new thing. But I shall make. Whoa, I need a lot of metal playings for that. Oh boy, oh geez, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh geez. Okay, um, metal plating. There we go. Need to make four of those. Mm, let's go for eight. I'm pretty sure we'll be doing a lot of quickly done farming. Hmm. Uh, can I change the color? Do I know how? <laughs> do I know how to change the color? Oh, I do. Look at that. Um, 
Oh, so that's how they do it now. Okay. Okay, now I understand. I could change the scale of it? Oh, part cannot be resized. Damn it. I can rotate it, though. Although it doesn't really matter much right now, does it? No, it doesn't really change much of anything, does it? Okay. Um, build, obviously, and then colors is already done. Okay. And I can toggle the edit build, toggle camera with left stick. Ah, okay. So that toggles that. Cool. And then toggle wiring would be with the actual wiring, I'm assuming, but... Since I'm in my ship, I don't have to use wiring. So, okay. Beautiful. Alright, let's put another one there. Some of you might be wondering why I did it that way. Well, I can still go around, and I have a pathway to go this way if I ever needed to. Question is, do I need to? Probably not. So, we won't worry about that, but that's not the point. I also have a doorway here, so I don't need to worry at all about that. Even if I did. Who cares, right? Uh, I care. Let's be honest here. I care. Um, ooh. Forgot to search these. For all of the nothing they probably contain. Oh, antimatter housing. Okay. That was something. Not a lot, but it was something. Okay. Also, uh, there was another thing. Oops, it was this way. That was where it was. Oopsie doopsie. Um, there was another thing that I could do with our frigate here that I completely forgot to do, but for point of this mission, I'm going to finish it up. Oh, oh, I can't build it because I don't <laughs> have enough. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going to have to go to a planet that has it, aren't I? Uh, dim a dim it owner of the Dimsdale dim a dam. Okay, alright. Well, let's show the other thing then. So I don't have to get out of here quite yet. Alright, the new thing is that I have a whole lot of salvaged frigate modules, as you can see right there. I have up to seven, which means I can finally buy the matter beam. The matter beam allows me to basically move everything I have from my main inventory to the frigate. Always. Basically always. A device that modulates standard freighter communication signals to enable the interplanetary transport of matter as well as data. Freighters fitted with such a device can send and receive products and substances to a user's exosuit over a long distance. For some reason, that period got carried over to the next line. That's weird, but whatever. I can build it. I can build the thing. A device that modulates... Yep, I've already read that. Craft antimatter, craft magnetic resonator, and purchase wiring looms from space station terminals. Which I do have some of these things right here. Uh, not the antimatter part. That part I don't have. But I could. Um, do I not have the other thing? I do not have the other thing. Ooh, okay, well, we'll install the tech actually over here. The matter beam there. I need to buy a magnetic resonator. Or make one somehow. It requires three of them. It requires five and requires ten. Sweet Jabus. Okay. That's a lot. Alright. I'm probably going to have to do some moving. More than I thought. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Probably. Uh, please tell me. Oh no. It doesn't have it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, um, bugger, okay, well, it doesn't have the thing I need, which means I'm gonna have to go out anyway, and this doesn't change anything, what am I doing, oh, anything important anyway, 
I can at least craft the antimatter. I can at least do that much. I have plenty of chromatic metal to do so. So. One, two, three, four, five. And then... Ta-da! There's that. I just need three of those and eight more of those. Oh boy. Okay, well... Now, fair warning, the recent update for the Frontiers thing has introduced some mild, weird bugs. But I'm sure that they've fixed most of them by now. I think. Probably. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Alright, there we are. Have to head to a space station, which is over there. Emergency broadcast. Well, yeah. Okay, I can't understand what they're saying. Though well, the transmission is infused with static and its alien speech garbled, one thing is unmistakable. This life form is in great distress. Okay. Input the distress coordinates. Transmission's pre-recorded hologram fades as I shut down my starship communicator. The coordinates point to a nearby planet. Okay, and then... The game is telling me there's a target... That I have to go after. There's a target. Oh, the armor's target is over here. Okay. Well, let's get the rocket launcher on. That'll be the first good volley. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright. Ow! Didn't mean to do that. That was just dumb. Okay, time to get ready for this. Woo! Oh boy, I wrecked one of them. Okay, well that's good. At least I managed it for one. And there's a second one. Cool. Turn to the armor. Well, I'll do that after I visit the space station. And why I'm even going to the space station is because. Whoa, boy. Because I need to buy wiring looms and magnetic resonators. Woo. That just kind of guided me right in. That was kind of nice. Just had a little bit of drift going. Well, hello, other ship that I don't recognize. And. Okay. Cool. And I think the yep terminals right over here. Beautiful. All right. Now let's see if we can buy it here, which is weird that I can at least buy the wiring looms here. Wow, that's a lot. Wow, that's too much. I can't afford that. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay, here's what happened. I <laughs> was bitching about it, ended up hitting my microphone, and it was a cluster of errors from right there. And <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be buying as, buying, buying as many wiring looms as necessary because I want to have some money for getting a new frigate to add to the fleet. So, I guess I'll just put this off. I guess. At least until I have more at my disposal. Hello. I think I recognize this ship. I do. I do recognize this ship. The Master of Clouds. That's what it is. Okay. Well, hello there, pilot. Divine Entity. Divine Atlas Entity. In Kovo, a Kovo, I don't know how to spell you, say or spell or anything about your name. You have a decent ship. Decently sized ship. One that I could upgrade to. Huh. 
Huh. I could at least afford the exchange. Hmm. But at the same time, kind of, I'm kind of smitten with the Skylark of the Stars for right now. Plus, I still want to save my money for the thing. So, we'll just ignore that for now. Ignore that for now. And actually, I should get on my ship to see if we can pick up new frigates. There's probably a, another fleet somewhere. Mission target is in another system. I see. For the planet in distress. Fair enough. Okay, there's my fleet. There's another fleet. One that's not me. Alright. Well, let's see if they have what I'm looking for. Well, that was a noise. Not a noise I was expecting. Oh, hello, boy. You do got a lot of things going on here. All right. Science ship looking thing. That's what I'm looking at right now. Whoo! Wowzers! That is an S-Class. Wowzers. Um, okay. Well, you are extremely out of my price range. Sorry. Bye. Uh, <laughs> Alright. What are you? Uh, let's look at what you got going on. You are a combat frigate. Underpowered lasers. Ugh. I mean, you are within price range, but not within the range of what I want to be getting. Okay. This one's a mining vessel when I already have one. And... Uh, it's at least within the price range. That's really all it's got going for it. It's within the price range, but that's about it. Uh, okay, so let's see where the other frigates are. We already talked to these ones. Let's talk to this one and the one on the far side over there. Okay, let's talk to you. What are you? You are a combat specialist. That is also decent with trade. A well-groomed crew. Okay, well, that makes sense. That that would be good with trading. And you are within my price range. Okay, that cut <laughs> was because I was trying to take a drink of my climate and tipped the cup a bit too far and spilled it all over myself. Today is just a comedy of errors. I am sorry that I am the way that I am. All right, let's talk to this one. Okay, let's talk to you. Ooh, you got some things going here. Underpowered lasers, I'm sure will eventually get fixed. You have now Cubier Drive, which apparently cuts down on mission duration. Massive Guns, which adds more to combat. And Combat Specialist, which is even more to combat. And you are under what I need. Well, you are under my budget, rather. So yeah, let's do that. There we go. It's one more combat specialist when I didn't need a combat specialist, but it's still nice to have a little extra. Don't you think? Okay. Let's 
gonna collect a few things from space while I'm out here. There we go. Also, the destruction particle effects going on with these is actually a lot different than what it used to be. It's a nice addition. It's a nice little added function. I like it. It's one of those quality of life things. There's also a similar one when it comes to other things, but I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, I can't keep shooting at the air not getting anything. There we go. Alright, there we go. Oops, something's gonna happen. So I'll stay out in space for a little while while I wait for that thing to happen. What that thing is? I don't know. Beats me. But I'll find out in a second. Oh! Criminal that's mostly harmless. Okay, well. Says it's over in this direction. Ah! There we are. A bounty of 100,000. Well. And in that case, if it's a bounty of 100,000. It's still significant. To the point that I'm just going to go in anyway. Ha ha! Got a decent amount of damage. And it's gone. Beautiful. Some freighters. Question is, where is mine? It says it's in this direction. Okay. Whoop. Okay. I should stop wildly firing. And start actively controlling where I'm going. Okay. Alright. Right. Okay. Oh! I see. That's what's going on here. This is another fleet that I can collect from. Interesting. Where is my fleet, though? Ah, there we are. That's where... Oh. I'm gonna have that happen again. I got stuck in the ship. Nah, -uh. no sir. All right. Oh wait, wait. I just noticed. I have. Oh, I am overloaded. Look at that. I was. Whoa. Oh ho ho ho! Boy, oh boy. A lot more of those than I thought I did. Dang. Alright. 15 Pritium Hyperclusters. Blasters. And there's the ships that were here leaving once again. As they do. Alright. So... Pridium hyperclusters. I thought I stored some in here, but I guess I didn't. Okay, so in that case, I shall put some. Only about like five of them into here. There we go. And then break the rest of them up. There we go. Whole bunch of tritium. Now at my fingertips. Lovely. Gotta love it. Alright, um, Herox goes here? Herox here. Ha ha. Ha ha. He he ho ho ha. I'm bad at jokes. Okay, um. Let's move these where they belong. Perfect. And we'll call that good. Cool. 
And with that now out of the way, wow, 800 tritium from all those broken hyper clusters. Wowzers. And now we get into the space station here. I was about to say Starbase, but that's not right. Ha! Wait, no, don't go. Come back. I just wanted to say hi. Okay. Whatever. Neither here nor there. Okay, this was actually the wrong way. Actually, no, it wasn't. How about that? I was going in the right direction after all. Man, the tanks on my jetpack are massive now. <laughs> Go for so much longer than I used to. Um, can I buy eight? I can buy eight. I can actually buy more than eight. Up to 12. That is not terrible. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh, well, there's... There's that Master of the Clouds again. Alright. Okay, well, let's see what this one is. It's a B class, okay. And I probably still can't buy it. Yep. Nope, that one's even more expensive than the C-Class. Yeesh. Okay, well... Away we go. And there is one thing I still need to get. That is the magnetic resonator. Problem is... That is, at this point... A learnable thing I can get from here. The lobby is full. I mean, I figured that. Look at that. Look at these. Interesting. Extremely interesting ships. All right. Now, I'm going to have to learn how to make the thing. And it is back here. Right about here, I think. Synthesis laboratory. There we are. And there's the magnetic resonator. Requires ionized cobalt and magnetized ferrite. Makes sense, considering. And it isn't all that difficult to make. Nor is it all that difficult to buy the recipe. I was just hoping I would get it handed to me, but apparently that isn't the case. At least not right now. Oh, what is this? Bane of War. It's smaller than my current one. Not gonna bother. Smaller and weaker, might I add. What? Oh, can't use that. Balls. Oh, well. Well, now that I have bought the recipe, I guess all I really need to do is split this up and make some ionized cobalt out of it. So that way I can make as many as I need. The things I need. I miss my ship. Some of these ships, though, they look pretty damn cool. Don't get me wrong. Man! I get so much. So much out of this jetpack. It is insane. You wouldn't believe. Alright. So, now it's time to return to the freighter. And by freighter, I mean my capital ship. Okay. And... Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> has to get it in the center one this time. Booyah. 
love it when I can manage that. Cool. And we're done. Beautiful. That was the wrong button. The button I wanted to hit was this one. So that way I could finish up the matter beam. This one I can now put in all of the wiring looms I need. So now we're good. But then also, I can make magnetic resonator once I pull everything out of my exosuit. <laughs> I forgot they were still sitting there. Okay, 95. Not as much as I was hoping, but should be enough, I think. Or at least two. All right. That's not where I want. I want to hear. Okay, that I can make one, two, and I need more ionized cobalt. Luckily, I have plenty right here. There we go. And now I can make the third. And now, with that, I have now finished the matter beam. And we're good. We're beyond good. I'm going to put the excess back in here to get unionized and go back to being regular cobalt. And I shall put this in here. Beautiful. Now I have extra wire looms. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, well, that's going to not be that impressive. Because the Starship one, you know, still has a distance barrier at a certain point. And that might be true. For the Starship one. Starship one, however, operates far differently than the frigate one. For my capital ship. And I will show you how much more differently in a second. Wait a minute. Trade frequency. Pilot jabbers at me, excited to have made contact with another trader. Let me look at what you got. You have stuff I don't need. Actually, you have some stuff I very much need. Funny how that works, in fact. Um, you know what? Let's see, can I buy all of them off of you so I can make it in bulk? I can. Cool. All right. And with that, I think I have everything I need. All right. Thank you for your business. Bye. Now let's head back to my base. And it is mainly to show you what I mean. Okay, oh boy. Turn to the scientist. Oh, okay. Why am I returning to the scientist now? Okay, well, since I'm here, I'll show you the different particle effects with breaking down dihydrogen crystals. Now it's... Now they break open in the uh, shower of sparks. Nice little particle effect that wasn't there previously. And it's kind of nice to see. It's kind of cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, the other thing. Um, oh, wait. Do I have a save bacon? Save bacon. Save beacon here? I do. Interesting. So that's why it said return to the scientist. All right. Cool. And all of these are... Wow, these are really, really holding a lot of charge. Wowzers. Okay, um... Hmm. Unidentif really, after all this time, I've never identified this plan. I want to call shenanigans. I guess it's not shenanigans. Okay. Well. There we go. Oh. Uh-oh. No more sunlight. 
So no more charge. Let's see how quickly these run down. Not nearly as quickly as I was fearing. No wonder it's managing to hold on to a whole lot of charge. Huh. Well, anyway. Might as well see. Oh, wow. This is actually lasting a lot longer than usual. Huh. There we go. Okay. Now, let's show you what I meant about the freighter. So, this is what I need for the freighter to be growing the gut rot flower eventually on it. Look at that. I can put it anywhere on any storage container I wish. Even from the planet. All the way over here. Away from it. There's my capital ship. Way over there next to the star... <laughs> space station. I almost said star base again. And all of that stuff over there. And I'm able to do it from here. Ah? Ah? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's very cool. It's extremely cool. I love it. I love it. Right, that's fer ferrite dust and mordite. I'm going to need a lot of those. By those, I mean ferrite. But, I mean, it could also be the mordite, too. Mordite is also useful. Oh, that's right. I hadn't finished my multi-tools, terrain manipulator stuff, carbon nanotubes, and dihydrogen jelly. Okay. So that's easy enough. Uh, dihydrogen jelly is right there. And then carbon nanotubes is right there. And I needed two of the nanotubes, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. In that case... Boom and boom. Shazam. It is now capable of that. Hermetic seals. And I need quantum computer and solar mirror. And that would increase the amount of resources I can mine out of it. Okay. Hmm. I can do this one. This one's easy. Carbon nanotubes and hermetic seal. That is extremely easy. And a wiring loom of two, which I have on the freighter, which I can now access easily and at any time I want. As long as the freighter is within the system. So there's that for the carbon nanotubes. And then there's that for the hermetic seal. Can I do a quantum computer? No, I cannot. It's another thing I'll have to learn. But it's fine. It's something I will learn eventually. Technology module. Done. And I have earned two of them. There we go. Good enough. And then we break this open. To get whatever's in there. Nanites. Okay. Okay. Slowly rebuilding my, uh, slowly rebuilding my massive amount of nanites. There we go. Those were the words I was trying to get out of my mouth, but for some reason wouldn't. Huh? Oh. I don't remember that being a thing, but I'll take it. Cool. All right. All right. So, now we have... Ooh, pretty. Now we have done our upgrade of our freighter. Done a couple things in regards to the... Uh, oh, I need an advanced life mining laser for that. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Oh, great. Got the angry big murder dino.
Sorry. Didn't want to kill you. It made me have to. Alright. So, eventually I need to get that whole mining beam situation all figured out. Because I need to be able to mine these. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, we're doing pretty well. Pretty well for ourselves. And we just need to do a couple more minor upgrades to continue on these good times. Most of them are related to equipment, but... Eh, might be able to get away with some other things to the freighter as well. Maybe. Possibly. We'll find out. Either way, some of them will have to wait until later. Okay, hello. Didn't expect you here. Not that I'm complaining. Um... Although I don't have enough money to buy anything. <laughs> Alright, so. It's time to head on back. To where I usually go. Which is my freighter. And... Real quick. Ah, it was mostly harmless. That explains it. Okay. Okay. And this will finish off the rest of the journey. And flip me around and we head into the ship. All right. So we've actually made some decent amount of progress. The question is, will we... <clears throat> the question is, will my voice allow me to continue to talk? And then will that progress continue onwards as we move on into other things? That is the question now, isn't it? And I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Ah, I love my cliffhangers. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and getting a whole bunch of progress done when it comes to upgrading ships and my equipment. Uh, just not enough to write home about, but we'll get there eventually. Oh boy, two ships of the exact same kind. I wonder if they're different classes. Probably are. And, uh, yeah, we'll just continue on our trek to get more progress made and more stuff done for us. Obviously. Mainly the frigate. For you.